my past life. That was then. I'm a new man now. Nate Dog stalked us at Run to the Sun, 2017. What'd you do? Just walk up with some people. No, he never saw this. No, no, I walked. He was hot. I walked up and looked at the Nova. I said, hell, this shop hires kids. I walked on. Because I think Carter. <laughs> and, and then a year later. Windshield surrounding cow, and guess what? <laughs> we ain't done. We got more parts to fry. <laughs> yes, sir, boy. You better be ready. Hey guys, it's Vince with Creative Rods. Welcome to a new shop walk. Let's see what's going on at Creative Rods this week. Let's go. You on the stain? I am on the stain. Finishing up the wiring. Had to find the fuel pump wire under the dash, it's not marked, so I had to ohm it out so I could figure out which one it was. Going to the fuse box. Hopefully, by the end of the day, I might be able to crank it. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of parts in from AMD Classic Muscle for 73 Camaro we got out back. Basically going to rebuild the whole back half of it. And uh, finishing up on the Chevelle. Got the three-point harnesses in the back. Got to put the hood on it. Clean it up. Do a couple other minor things. And she'll be ready to go home by the end of the week. Got Kristen over here wet sanding on the Scout. Got it taken back apart. Going to get ready to start painting it. What do you think about this wet sanding job you got here? I think it would be better if Ty Hill were done it. walk back here and see what Nate Dog's going got going on we are about done with the Bronco uh, it is actually at the muffler shop right now and uh, then we'll obviously have to put some miles on it because it has a new EFI system on it I think um, Nate Dog's starting to back, work back on the 55 Chevy interior and we have like three other cars that are this close to going home so we'll have about five cars leaving here soon and get a whole new group in let's see what's going on looks like something's missing in here yeah what you working on some upholstery duh <laughs> oh the rear back panel for the for the 55 getting started back on it but if the floor can't handle burnouts then we need to find a new floor person are you supposed to do burnouts inside the shop There's burnouts anywhere yeah yeah i mean when they post that sign on the road that has the little wiggly lines with the car yeah that means you can do a burnout there but you're gonna need more than a Prius to do the burnouts well, I got some other stuff at home unless you do a, a reverse neutral drop a reverse neutral drop yeah what the heck well you get going in reverse 
shove it in neutral, get it revved up while you're still rolling backwards, and then drop it in the drive. The Prius won't rev up. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you know we we ain't really said nothing about uh, our surprise for next week. Okay. Are you uh? I'm not you, surprised. Well, you, well, I'm not surprised either. But are you happy? You glad? You excited? I'll get back to you on that. Oh no. When? Huh? When are you gonna get back to me? <laughs> Next week. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you this '73 uh, Camaro. I just showed you all the parts that we got in for it. It's a true big block 396 car. The owner has owned it for quite a few years. It was stolen at one time. He got it back. And uh, we got to do a lot of metal work here on the back, back in under, underneath, pretty much uh, rebuild that. We got all the parts for it we've been waiting on, so it'll be coming in the shop. And uh, we'll be, we won't be restoring it completely. He's going to do some of the work himself, but we're going to get him headed in the right direction. So stay tuned for more on this Camaro. About done with the Chevelle? I am. Putting the hood back on. Put the hood back on it. And then washing her. her good old wash. Clean her up. Yep. Driver, set the timing. Yep. One more done. That's going to be the new weekly. New weekly. The new weekly. Reading, reading time with me. Yep, reading time with Josh. You going to teach me how to read? No. Because all I do is look at the colors on these pictures. <laughs> Find a wire that's that same color and just put it where the picture says it goes. I ain't no help. That's what I was gonna do. Distributorless ignition system. That word is a foot long. Well, we tried to put the window in yesterday. We had the professionals come out. And uh, we had the uh, rubber gasket that had the uh, chrome in it, and it just did not fit correctly. Mm -hmm. So chrome we ordered bent up. Chrome was all bent up. We got a new seal without it, and we're gonna put it in ourselves so we can get this uh, K5. Yeah. Freaking tie yellow. Huh? This is what you expected? To backfire on me like this? Yeah, that was uh. I thought we was cool, man. Yeah, wasn't this? Hmm. No, I guess he's is. getting a big laugh now, ain't he? No, you know what it is. It's called dedication, and just stepping up and do what's got to be done. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Hey, um, would you like to? I mean, well, let me ask you what you think about the uh, the big news we got coming you know a big surprise next week mm. a nate dog is like ecstatic he was doing backflips in the in the shop back there earlier today was he yeah he would which makes no sense because he's like well I guess don't give it away now you excited i know you are yeah i mean nice to have a little a little elf running around <laughs> especially this time of the year you know <laughs> hey santa yeah when you send one down you know what i'm saying Bronco. Let's take a progress report and see what you got done today. You got trunk done yet? No, I've been stressed. Why? And bothered. Why? I don't know. I ain't been back here. I know. I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, people on Shopwalk, I want you to ask you a question. You saw earlier today the trunk. Here's the trunk now. So I want. I want you to tell Zach by commenting below if he's gotten enough work done today. Zach, I mean, 
Zach. I just got through talking to Zach. Hell, Zach, he's got enough work done today. <laughs> Nate Dog. Ask Nate Dog if he's got enough work done today. And we'll let the people decide. No, but you were just up here an hour ago. It's been longer than that. Was it? Cleanup crew's here. Old Sunshine left us high and dry, didn't he? Yep. Frankie's fun part. Who's on Frankie's fun part? Sunshine. Oh, yeah. Hey, you see Clay got shouted out in our, uh, in one of them reviews you posted? Who? I think it was Ashley's. He's. Oh. Review. Sunshine was in there. Huh. Ty Yellow leave something behind. He did. It was uh, one of his favorite opening bands. It's uh Who he used to open? Huh? I said he had a run away. He had a run away. Who's the opening band for Run DMC? Niagara Falls. <laughs> uh, pretty, they're pretty good. They are pretty good. They did a pretty good job. Yeah, like they don't just they don't do a half cut. You know what I'm saying? They fool. They fool more. And something got what you just sprayed or what she's spraying smells good. Yeah. What is it? Uh. Watermelon. What'd y'all do? Put a watermelon scent in the daggum water? No. It's my uh, my dipping alternative. Okay. Still don't understand. Non-tobacco product. Oh. Are you trying something different? I'm trying to cut back. Cut back. So, so tell me about that. Is it is it not have the nicotine in it or something? And no, it still has the nicotine in it. It's tobacco free. So it's a little better for your gums, mm. your teeth, your teeth, your teeth. Oh, would you look at that? About to get it. Now, will you go over it again? This or, is my second time. Second time. Yep. Once you get all the the black off, mm -hmm. then she's ready. What what you got left? Um, hood. Two doors. The hood. Oh, you got the two fenders done. Yeah, already. I got the two fenders. The tailgate and done. The tailgate. So the body will be done, mm -hmm. and then the two doors and the hood. Yeah. Trip number one. Oh my God. I, you know, I was you coming know. back to see you. For the Bronco. This is what I understand. Do you have like a camera sense or something? Like, did you feel the sensation that the camera was out, so therefore you come down here? Why am I ruining your moment or something? Yeah, actually. Cause you're ruining his spotlight. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm you're sorry. always, it's, it's just like the Nate Dog show. And this is one of your two free visits a That's day up to the. I mean, it's almost Nate Dog featuring Creative Rock. That's how it should be. Huh. Open up. Can you smell something, something up here? Yeah, what the rock is cooking. <laughs> what is the rock cooking? I don't know. You got it covered? I got it covered. Put a new power steering pump on. I'm going to get a slip back in. Uh, let's see what it looks like these guys are making uh, spaghetti for lunch. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Is that out of the olds? Yeah. Finding some ends to plug back into the doors. The doors. Because it's power doors, power uh, locks, all that stuff. Half power, half vacuum. Ah. So we're finding our wires that can feed both sides. So you, what you're saying is just not a plug and play like most people think, huh? Well, it's definitely not a plug and play. No. It's more like a plug and, plug yes. and cuss. Yeah. Diagnose. Plug you're a surgeon. You're a surgeon. You're having to put these wires back together. And but it, uh, all you got to do is plug it in and come back in 10 minutes and it's done. Yeah, that's what's going to happen on this video. That's what's going to happen on this video. <laughs> hey folks we're back hey, we're and it's still not done, done. <laughs> more wet sandy we're about ready to start spraying that scout ain't we probably next week yeah get the body in there because y'all done with the body right just getting all the For parts the in part, we got uh Address the firewall a little bit. Not getting too crazy with that, but uh, other than that, doing that and going over doing the final QC, get it out here, get it washed, cuff stuff. We got a pint of the paint in to do a spray out, get the customer approve it, right? Yep. Cool. Get that done. They'll be moving and grooving. Huh. Nate Dog's got his truck back then today. Nate Dog! What? See, you can't scare a ninja. Well, you didn't come in with all your full force like you usually do. But let me uh, ask you, you got your truck back then. You, you got it ready for a quick getaway? <laughs> I got put some air in the tire so. oh <laughs> so I, I saw from your worksheet yesterday we got some progress back there on the uh on the can i go look at it i guess a little bit yeah oh yeah still gotta put the little center piece in yeah Get the right side done, button her up, right? Get this one right. Oh yeah, we gotta do the bottom of the truck lid. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Well, it's it's ready to be wrapped. Is it's it so point. that that piece is fitting better than it did originally? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the trunk should be done here. I hope to have it done today. Cool. Now get back on the inside of it. Been working on the uh, 65 Fastback, trying to get it tuned up. Moved it off the lift, so. So we got the Chevelle all cleaned up. Customer's gonna pick it up either this afternoon or in the morning. Got vintage air installed. Let the Corbo three point harnesses in the back. And a lot of people ask, well, why do you have them in the back and not the front? His main reason was for his younger daughter to ride with him. He wants to make sure she's safe. So that's a very nice looking. 70 Chevelle. Enjoyed working on it. It is in the tuning process. He ought to be pretty good at it. He's built more Corvettes than I've looked at. He ought to be able to do it in half the time that I can do it. Oh, I guarantee you I can do it half the time. You guarantee me that you can do it. Well, we need two Corvettes with the same problem. 
one right there and one right there. And whoever does it faster gets a hundred dollar bonus on their paycheck. But who's paying the bonus? You're the boss. Well, I didn't put, I mean, yeah, what do y'all give each other a hundred dollars? This is a bet between yeah, we'll uh we'll split it 50-50. Yeah. See, so it works out for everybody. Yeah, it does. No, it That works out for everybody. Yeah. Except for, except for me. You. Yeah, except for you. Ah. You got it figured out yet? It's getting more organized. Yep. Making progress. That's for sure. What you doing, boss? I am disassembling pretty much the car. Uh, taking brake lines, fuel lines off, uh, getting everything out of the way. So. Then to drop the fuel tank. Hopefully, at some point today, we can get this front front end off. Uh, can I get the motor out? Get, get the motor and transmission out. I've already drained the pan and pulled the drive shaft. Uh, pulled the fuel lines on this side. I'm pulling the brake lines off now, getting them out of the way. Uh, I've already disconnected the emergency brake cable. Exhaust out of the way. All right. Moving right along. Hey, no! Yeah. Making some floor mats? Yep. Trying to. You got that photo for me? What photo? Liar. No. Liar. Use a liar. I am not. I just didn't take the liar. You just take, a liar. Take the liar. Well, <laughs> hey, that's like going to the doctor and not bringing back a note. It is? Yeah. Huh. Oh, did Carter bring a note? I don't, I don't know yet, but... Uh, I only missed an hour. He missed all the day. Yeah, he, he's a... Uh, he's, um... I just can't even say right now. I didn't realize those tests take all day long. I think he milked that one a little bit. Too, too. Yeah. It's too bad he had to work all day today when we get off at 12. You are too. But anyway. I ain't working all day. You got hours to make up. I got a few. How many? Like an hour. How I'm many, how many were you missing from last week's Friday? Was it? And then hour, and well, early, then and then early this week, an hour. How did I get overtime? You finagled the books somehow. You cooked the books. No. Yeah. You cooked the books. No. I know I made up for Monday already. You a fraud all the way around, ain't you? Fraud. Yeah. I mean, you talking about sweets, cooking the books on the time sheet card. I mean, how do I you, cook the books when you're the one that adds up the numbers? You the one that clicks that that time card every day. You got somebody coming in after hours clocking you out, don't you? No. Huh? I'm gonna have to put a camera up at the, at the time you clock got machine. Got cameras everywhere. No, I don't. <laughs> I got me a new one. It's a little one we use in the FBI. It's about this big around. I can hide it places. And uh, so you better watch out. I'm yeah. not doing nothing wrong. I'll pass the poly. Folks, that's the first sign of denial. Denial means you're an addict in some way or <laughs> a compulsive liar or whatever it may be, but uh, denial is a first sign. We're going we're gonna to get him some help. So, so, um, what are you working on today? Are you going to, uh, just working on the Bronco? Probably. Okay. Unless I need to do something else. No, I just want, because JJ's going to be in here in about, uh, 1130 or something. Oh, okay. So. 
Well, you got anything to say uh, about our surprise next week? It sucks. What? What? It's not really a surprise. It is a surprise. No. To everybody out in... Is a hemorrhoid a surprise? You probably feel it coming on, don't you? I don't know. I never is had a, them. Uh, kidney stone a surprise? Uh, when it starts hurting, it is. Is a blister a surprise? Because that's it... about what's showing up on Monday. Huh. Well, they're going to have to wait to shop walk next Friday at 7 p.m to find out what it is yeah. but it's a good surprise and i heard it you and big block have got some uh, oh, we got plans got plans i know i've just heard about it on the you way did. out here yeah okay so don't act like you're not it sucks because you're you already got plans on what you're gonna do yeah so um but it is like getting but you know if anybody watches shop walk tonight all the millions of viewers the your plans are going to be ruined because someone might be watching i don't think he watches you can't say that or it was or golly i i'm not telling you what your christmas presents because you can't keep a secret oh i'm getting christmas presents Hey, you gonna send the address to the Christmas party? Or did you just send it? I already did. When did you do that? Last year? No, I sent it earlier. If you didn't get it, then... <laughs> I'm not invited. I thought it was mandatory, though. Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like cooking them books. Nobody's yeah. cooking books. How y'all know? Thanks for watching. Oh, on this lovely Friday, after 7 p.m., we appreciate you watching. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to hit that little bell in the right hand corner, ding, 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 so you get a notification every time we post a new video. And you know what? <laughs> uh, Y'all gonna wanna watch next week because we got a big old surprise coming for you. You ain't going to expect it. <laughs> Neither did we. Stay tuned.